Wow, Peyton, that's yeah. so scary. Yeah, and a lot of people are wondering what this was. There was pictures of funnels that were reported um, over in the Kenner area, so mm -hmm. it's thought that that's probably what it was. But looking at what was actually happening with the storm itself, this was not a rotating storm in the sense of a tornadic storm. What we think it was is called a land spout. Now, this is the video of the actual funnel. This was from a friend as he got off the plane at MSY, and you could see the funnel there. You could see it spinning down. But the difference between a land spout and a tornado tornado is how it develops. A land spat actually starts from the ground, whereas a tornado starts from the cloud and uh, the rotation of the storm. The land spout starts from rotation happening at the ground. Now, what was happening yesterday, I was looking at radar at about 4 o'clock when this was going on, was we had a boundary that set up close to I-10. The damage was right in here, and part of that was from the lake breeze coming in, and then you got your southerly wind. So we've had a boundary here, and as that storm develops, that warm air rises, and this boundary here actually tries to rise as well. So the rotation starts at the surface from the different boundary here, the wind spinning here, and as that storm begins to climb and rise, it takes that boundary and it can sometimes stretch that with it with the storm as well. And then you get an area of spin that can develop into a funnel. And that's what we call a land spout because it starts on the land. The rotation starts and then rises up into the storm. So it's not uh, exactly the same as a tornado. A tornado is the entire storm is rotating and then it tightens up and works its way to the ground. So that's more than likely what we think happened here. Usually winds in a land spout are somewhere between, you know, 45, 55, maybe 65 miles per hour. So that's what it looks like happened yesterday with that damage right there in that isolated spot of Kenner. And of course, we had visual confirmation that there was a funnel and maybe it did touch down and cause that damage, but more than likely it was a land spout. So just an explanation for you on that. Now,